My next guest takes on Angel Deanda coming up here at Dana White's Contender Series 2 on July 18th. It's Dan Spawn back on the program. Dan, how are you? Oh, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing very well. It's been a while since you and I last spoke. Uh, you've been racking up the wins. Uh, I was actually looking at this, and uh, since uh, you, you left the UFC in 2014, you've amassed an 8-1 and record. Was there ever a point when you thought an opportunity at the UFC wasn't going to happen? Because you're getting all these wins, and you weren't getting the call-up. Oh, yeah. You know, that, that definitely went through my head several times. You know, just going out there and fighting so many times on the regional level and trying to, you know, prove myself. You know, I think every fighter doubts whether they're going to get that call again, but... Yeah, I just kept at it, and I knew something would come my way. Yeah, and let's talk about this opportunity here. Uh, Not only uh, are you going to be fighting in front of Dana White, but you're going to be the main event of this card. Um, How did this sort of come together? How would you find out the news that you were on this card? Uh, You know, really, my manager just got a hold of me one day. He he called me like three or four times. Actually, I was in jiu-jitsu, so I missed the calls. And, uh, you know, I I saw a number there, and I called him. He's like, hey, where the hell are you guys? He's like, I've been trying to get a hold of you like crazy, and... You know, he let me know about what was going on and with this new series and everything. And, you know, of course, first, you know, kind of like shell shock, like, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to believe it. But, you know, once we heard it, you know, we we were pretty psyched. So it was pretty cool. My manager let me know and it was game on from there. Now, was it tough keeping it a secret? Because I know a lot of the matchups were announced ahead of time, or at least you guys found out, but nothing was coming out until it was official. Uh, Was that kind of tough? Because you, 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 I'm sure you went through that with the Ultimate Fighter as well, too. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it was a lot easier than the Ultimate Fighter because, you know, in the Ultimate Fighter, I was in there and, and literally nine months. I had to yeah, wait almost it's nine way longer, months before yeah. it was there. Yeah, so, you know, so this wasn't too bad. And, uh, you know, they let us have a little more freedom with it. And, you know, on top of that, uh, my opponent changed anyway. So, you know, it wouldn't have really been a shocker, so... Yeah, I wanted to talk. I wanted to talk to you about that because I, when I first heard about this matchup, I heard you were fighting Mike Hernandez. Uh, what happened with that? Was that ever a matchup that was ever proposed? Yeah, you know, actually, I remember seeing him and everything, too. You know, I actually saw him face-to-face and when we were doing media stuff in Vegas, and, you know, I totally expected to fight him. And uh, it was just you know, one of those things, you know, it's a fight game. You know, you think one thing's happening, and all of a sudden it switched. So that's how it goes. Uh, who was the first person you told when you found out the news? Uh, probably, you know, my coach, and of course, and then uh, my just you know, some of my closer friends. Got you know, like Jeff Ferguson. He's a friend of mine. I've known him for a long time, so he was like probably one of the first people I called. So you know, he's been rooting for me from the beginning. So definitely. Good stuff. Uh, let's talk about the matchup here. Angel Deanda, he's uh, 15-5, and five, a veteran like yourself. Uh, I was actually, you guys have the same record, if I'm not mistaken. You're 15-5 and five as well, aren't you? Uh, yeah, actually, I think he has a few more, actually. I think he's like 18-5. and five. Oh, well, gotcha. Okay. Well, either way, it's yeah. kind of kind of close records. Close. Um, just just uh, talking about that though. Um, how do you feel like you, you match up against him? Oh, I feel pretty good about it. You know, uh, I think you know he's gonna be. He's definitely the smaller guy, of course. Um, you know, he's uh, I think he's only like five nine. So you know, fighting at two hundred five, that's a you know pretty big uh, deficit to most guys, especially me. I think I might be the tallest guy he spot. So I mean, being six four, and uh, yeah, I think he's only got like a seventy inch reach. So I'm gonna have almost nine inches reach. And, uh, you know, I mean, I'm happy with the matchup, you know, <laughs> like for things to, you know, change last minute, I can't, you know, can't complain too much. So, and the fact he's got a good record, you know, I want to fight a tough quality guy. So it's pretty nice. Yeah. And just to confirm this matchup's at like heavyweight, right? It's at 205 pounds. Yeah, for sure. 205. Okay. So. Cause I, was, I know you've uh, fought at both and it's interesting cause we just had the first Dana White contender series and the guy that you uh, knocked out, uh, won at heavyweight, uh, in, in Zulu or zoo or whatever his name is. Um, you know, is, is it kind of neat to, to see that, you know, guys that you're fighting top caliber guys are still getting these opportunities. Like you're fighting tough competition. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, it makes me feel good. You know, it lets me know that I'm right where I need to be, you know, like seeing guys that I've fought and, you know, beat that are those top level guys, you know, in, in different weight classes and, you know, still getting their shot. That, that just tells me, you know, that that's where I need to be. So it's, it's pretty excited. Uh, who are some of the people helping you get ready for this fight? Uh, you know, my, uh, my main guy, Scott Sheely, you know, he works with Kung Lee. He's, he's like his head coach. He's been working with me. He's my head coach and, you know, he's been helping me a lot through this and, uh, his striking style fits me really well with his traditional style and, you know, uh, working with him and Josh Williams, a coach of mine, and he's a really big name here in MMA as far as uh, the Columbus scene. So, uh, you know, then uh, training partner-wise, you know, going around with everybody, there's a guy I train with all the time, you know, Lance Phillips, he's coming up as a pro, and he's going to be a pro soon. And, uh, you know, of course, Stipe, 
can't can't uh, say you know i go up there and train yeah, with him the, and the champ you know it just happens to be sure. the heavyweight champ you know that's yeah yeah just have it <laughs> exactly no right. it's nice getting up there like you know i've known him me and him we kind of we've been fighting almost the same amount of time and we've been fighting in the same region you know like NAAFS cleveland area so you know it's kind of cool and we get to train together still and now you know i'm making my run and he's like you know one of the most dominant heavyweights in history so getting to work with him all the time and go in there and spar and you know we knock each other around and you know, it makes me feel pretty good at where I'm at on my level, for sure. Yeah, and it must give you a lot of confidence heading into this fight, you know, knowing that you're training with the, the best in the world in Stipe. Oh, for sure. You know, I mean, he's the best at the largest weight class in the world. So, you know, to know I'm going with somebody that caliber and, you know, I'm holding my own, I'm not just completely getting the floor mop with me every day anyway. So, you know, it, it feels pretty good. Now, is there more sense of urgency to get the finish in this fight? I mean, you're always looking for the finish, but with the fact that, you know, there is a UFC contract on the line, it seems like they want guys who are going to finish to obviously get that contract. Oh, for sure. You know, I mean, if anybody says otherwise, it's a lie. You know, they, you know, Dana was right, right there. So, of course, I'm going to have, like, above and beyond, I want to finish this fight, and I want to do it in spectacular fashion. You know, I mean, I'm not going out there to try and be smart and just play. I mean, you know, I'll be as smart as I can, but I'm not trying to play a tactical game where, I'm just winning my decision or anything like that. I don't really like to fight that way anyway, but there's way more pressure to go in there and really put a good show on, for sure. And uh, with the fact you've gone through the Ultimate Fighter and you're fighting really tough guys in the regional scene, do you feel like that experience will kind of help you in this just because some guys, when they get an opportunity like this, you know, there's a lot of pressure. They can't deal with it. Oh, for sure. You know, I think, you know, being on the Ultimate Fighter is a really huge advantage for me, especially my experience-wise. I mean... The reality is I'm fighting in the same place I've already fought three times. So right. that's, that's crazy. these fights for any of the fighters. So, so, I mean, that and the fact that, you know, I'm going to be back in Vegas. So it's like almost like a homecoming for me. So, you know, I think that helps quite a bit. And, uh, you know, nothing's going to compare to the hell they put you through in the Ultimate Fighter. So, you know, this it's nice to have my own training camp and be healthy going into this fight. So. Absolutely. Uh, before we let you go here, I ask all the fighters this. Uh, what, are you, what are you watching on Netflix right now? Are you a Netflix guy at all? Uh, I don't really do Netflix too much, but, you know, of course, The Walking Dead, Fear of the Walking Dead, of course, I'm a big you know, sucker for that, so I uh, I watch those, you know, religiously, so. <laughs> are, you, are you a Game of Thrones guy at all? I know that's uh, starting up again on Sunday, the time we're recording this. You know, you would think it's kind of right up my style, but I've never had a chance to watch it, you know, and uh, I'll probably, that might be something I'll get, get into pretty soon where I watch, you know, do a whole marathon, you know, start with the first season and walk all the way through it, you know, so. I, you know, I wish I could say I have. I mean, some of the highlights I've seen look pretty awesome, so <laughs> I'll probably be getting into that soon, too. Well, everyone's certainly got to check out UFC Fight Pass coming up here July 18th, Dana White Contender Series 2. I love this concept and show. i got to be honest, I'm a huge fan, so I am really was excited to see that you're in the main event of this, Dan. Always a pleasure getting to talk to you. Where can people get a hold of you on social media, and if you got any thank yous or shout-outs, the floor is yours. Oh, yeah. You know, it's it's always great coming in here and talking with you for sure. And, uh, you know, the best place to find me, really, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So everything's pretty easy. It's at Dragon Spawn, and that's Dragon, S-P-O-H-N. And, you know, that's the best way to find me. I'm pretty easy to get a hold of on there, you know. And, you know, I got to just say, you know, thanks to my sponsors and everything for helping me, you know, get to where I'm at. You know, my Garden of Life is one of the best, you know, companies out there for supplements. You know, I use that because they're raw, awesome nutrients, awesome ingredients, you know, and, you know, Clinch Gear and Hayabasu, you know, these guys, you know, they've been sponsoring me. And, you know, even if they can't, when I get to that level quite the way they want to, you know, they're still backing me. So it's really nice to have that. And then I've got Spar Buddy, too. I don't know. Most people don't know about that. That's an awesome company. It's got, I think I have a, there he is. He's back there in the background. He's a dummy back there. You know, it's about his life like as it gets to beat up on. So, you know, but uh, other than that, you know, I'm, I'm ready to put a show on. You know, I want to get out there and I'm ready for five rounds, like, I'm ready for five five-minute rounds, but I know you know there's only three rounds on this one, but I'm ready to finish this one.